In our most recent breakdown, we talked about Texas Tech's defense and their principles of no middle, forcing baseline and sideline, and where they help with the low man right here or the goalie, and how they show early help in a lot of their defensive principles. Now, over the past couple seasons, and especially this year, Kansas has had success against Texas Tech's defense. So let's see some of their solutions they have. The first one you saw a lot more in the Big 12 championship, which was getting their post player in the middle of the paint so it's tougher for Texas Tech to help. So right here, he's posting up right in the middle, and they can throw over top, and he gets fouled right there going up. So right here, they have ball movement and player movement. Now off this ball screen, they're going to roll into the switch, and now they're posting up right in the middle of the paint. And they can throw over top, catch, and then finish and one. Next, right here, we're going to see a great set they run. So they're going to clear right here, a clear cut to entry. Now, number two, Braun right here is going to clear to the break. Number 10 is going to lift up right here, and they're going to post up with no low man help. So the goalie cannot help because this side is empty right here, and they can throw right over top to a basket. Great play design. See, they're posting up right there. Nothing. They don't see. They don't throw it over top here because the low man is there to help. They're going to reverse it. Now he's going to seal up the middle. Still sealing right here. Now watch the player and ball movement here. They're going to swing it again. So the balls change sides a couple times. Still posting up in the middle. Now they can throw over top after a couple ball reversals. One dribble right into a foul going into that lefty hook. Off this B.O.B. dribble handoff. They're running an exit screen right here. Seal deep post position right here off that switch. They're going to swing it again. And look how they continue to seal in the middle of the paint right there. They can throw it over top. A great off ball cut here by Wilson right into a finish. You can see when we talked about the Big 12 championship game is – they posted up a lot more in the middle of the paint, and that's one of the adjustments they made from the first to the second to the third game they played Texas Tech. And right here, you can see off that switch, they seal hard right there, fighting for position, catches, and finishes. Now we have another solution to attacking their defense is off-ball cutting. We saw that earlier on a post-catch right here, and they cut from the corner for a finish. Now we're going to watch right here on this drive with this gap swipe right here. You can see this offense player, Wilson, is going to back cut right there, back cuts, and finishes versus the verticality. That's really important here. Off this ball screen, you can see the help right there like we talked about in the Texas Tech defensive breakdown. They throw it to the shake, swing it again. The ball's moving, and you can see they're cutting. You have a lot of player movement right here by Kansas. Off this ball screen and roll right here. Watch this back cut right here to space, and you get a layup. You have to keep up the ball movement, the player movement. Allow the ball to change sides of the court. Great cut right here. 45 cut, catch, and then finish again. You have to cut to space against them. And this is just a great back cut. Watch right here. Off the dribble handoff, takes a dribble up. He's below the defender. The defender right here is a little too high, so he can back cut right to the rim for a dunk. Attack in middle right here. You can see a lot of player movement and how spaced out Kansas is right here. Starts his drive, and the Kansas offense players just don't stand. They cut. So when he gets back middle right here, you can see Braun right here is going to cut down the middle. And that creates a foul right there because he shot fakes and then gets the player in the air. Great back cut again. So we've seen 45 cut. We've seen back cuts. We've seen players moving when an offensive player drives middle or drives down the slot and then changes direction. So another one is attacking middle of a course. The one thing Texas Tech does not want you to do is to get middle. So obviously that's a counter is attacking middle off closeouts quick. And when you do that, you can get the defense to shift. Get this post touch right here. Another great cut right there. 
drive middle. They both help. Watch this again. Watch how they both. He drives middle immediately off that closeout. This player helps. That means the post player is open right there. Swing it gets to the other side of the court. It moves again. A lot of player and ball movement right here. Great post entry pass, deep post position. Hit opposite, drives the close out again. Drives the close out again. Middle, you can see they keep driving middle. They're trying to drive middle. Watch this possession right here and watch how much player and ball movement there is. It's moving from side to side right here. And then he can attack a big gap right here because there was so much player movement from side to side. Another dribble handoff. He splits this dribble handoff right here. So watch it again. He splits and immediately attacks middle. When you have big gaps and a lot of player movement and ball movement, you can attack middle. Now we're going to see Kansas drive the slots right here. So he drives the slot right here. They're not going to get a full help right here. They're just going to stunt and get back. He's going to veer back middle, which allows him to get to the rim and get fouled. And watch how he shifts over slightly, a little to the middle of the court here, and then immediately gets downhill driving through that elbow, knowing this player is just going to stunt and get back because you can't help off here, the strong side corner, and he can finish through the contact. you got to be able to finish through contact against them. DHO splits the DHO like we saw earlier, drives right through that slot, getting to the middle of the paint to finish. This was a great play design, a double drag empty. So the first one is just a ghost screen. So he's going to become the lift or the shake. Then you have a screen right here. He's going to roll to the middle of the paint. While that was going on, you had a strong exit screen right here in the corner. So there's no low man help. Then he can drive right away through the slot, get back middle, and then finish at the rim. If you can drive the slots and then veer back middle, you can have success against their defense. Now, another solution is passing opposite when you drive baseline. So when you drive baseline here, they're helping right here. The low man is helping off 30, so you have to throw opposite right there, and that can lead to open shots, or you can drive that close out again to get back middle. Drive it right here. Watch this possession again. When we saw Texas Tech's defensive breakdown, they're going to help here. He's going to sink right here into the post player. That's going to leave the corner drift open right here, and you got to be able to throw that pass. Drives middle again. Swings it. You can see the ball and player movement right here. Gets to the other side of the court. Driving baseline again off that closeout. Makes a quick decision. Hits opposite one more. Open three. Roll and replace action. Swings it to the wing. Driving baseline right here. You can see you have three Texas Tech players converge on this drive. So someone's going to be open, but you got to be patient. Strong with the ball. Pivot through. Throw opposite. One more pass to knock down three. Now against any good defensive team, one of the ways to score is in transition. You got to be able to throw the ball ahead, push it down the sideline, get the ball middle, and then convert at the rim. And that's one of the things Kansas has been able to do this season. So we saw that. That's the same foot, same hand runner right there, finishing at the rim. Those first two possessions were back-to-back. -back. So we saw this one, and then right before that was another transition finish by Kansas. So back-to-back -back possessions. You got to be able to score in transition against them. Here's another one in the second half. Throw the ball ahead right there on the outlet. Then you're trying to get middle right here. Someone's going to be open. Drive that close out and finish through contact. This was in their second game, which Kansas won. Throwing the ball ahead right there. Extra passes, making the defense rotate. Getting in the middle of the court right there. Just great job. Great patience. Great job of getting to the middle. You want to get to the middle against this defense. 
because that's exactly what they don't want you to do. And Remy Martin does a great job on that, on all these possessions. If he's not throwing it off the sideline, he's really pushing it towards the middle of the court. One more pass right there, drive the closeout middle again. You can really see the point of emphasis against this defense is driving middle in transition or in closeout scenarios.